We're going to begin with a shtickle piece, a little piece from the Ramban related to yesterday's Samach Tzedek. So, sorry? Yeah, it's on, it's on the uh, WhatsApp, there's two pictures there. Yes, that's the first one. So, the um, Samach Tzedek collected, so it seemed at least, collected three reasons for why a chazaka does not work for the fact that we didn't have a wall for the last 10 years. So for whatever amount of time we've been living as neighbors and we never had a wall. And one day one neighbor says to the other, let's time to build a wall. And the other neighbor, the one who's being dragged to, you know, the one who's being dragged into it cannot counter by saying that I have a chazaka, I have already, uh, what's the chazaka? I have precedent, that's the word for chazaka. I have, uh, what's the legal word for chazaka? Acquisitive prescription, that's what it's called? Yeah. President, chazaka. Chazaka means that person has hold. Literally, chazaka means hold, to hold something. Because I already have claim to the fact that I can see through for the last 10 years. How could you make me change? So, the Smach collected three reasons for why chazaka doesn't apply. And the Magad Mishnah was one. The Magad Mishnah's reason is essentially that because there was no action taken, it's automatically a damage in the lack of the wall. And that continues going continuously and automatically. And therefore, there's never a point in which I did something that should, uh, what's, uh, what's it called? That should um, urge the other guy to protest, right? Usually a chazaka is against the claim, against the protest. I did something, you didn't protest for X amount of time, so I get the claim. But here, there's no action taken for which you should uh, protest. Magad Mishnah's explanation. Then we had two from the rush. One explanation from the rush was that the chazaka only works when the person who is making the chazaka, the mazik, is the mazik, is the one who is making the damage. And if the other person should stop him, he's not, so he gets a chazaka. But in this case, he's also the nizik over here, he's also taking damage. So there's equal mutual damage going on simultaneously. So if you're gonna ask me, how come I never made a claim till now? And therefore, I have a chazaka. I'll say, what do you mean? I was waiting for you to make a claim because we're, we're, we're damaging each other. Reason number two for why chazaka doesn't work is from the rush. Second reason from the rush is that because the damage is so constant and so bad, it gets the same status of what the Gemara referred to elsewhere as a smokehouse or a bathroom, which is so bad that you can't make a claim against it. You can't say a chazaka against these things. I can't say that I have a chazaka to have a bathroom here. It's things. It's not, it's not nice. It's, it's unsanitary. You have to move it, even though, even though it's been for many years. Can't claim a chazak on that. So likewise here, because the damage is so consistent and so prevalent, you can't make a claim and say that I, I have claim on this damage. It seems like it's how bad it is and how consistent yeah, it is, yeah. The other thing definitely is it's such a consistent damage that, that it's you know, when it Yeah, so let's see. Uh, I guess that's I guess that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Let's see. Um see the lush of oid. Right, so he says, the reason, but by the, the reason by the window the Chazaka does work, by the window the Chazaka does work is because it's not consistent that I'm going to continue to be damaging you. Whereas here, it's impossible. I'm not going to see you. In other words, I don't walk by my window. Not every time I see my window, I'm going to see you. But every time I walk in out of my house, I'm going to see you. So it's too consistent. I guess that's the right the way you framed it. It's a good way of putting it. It's so consistent. There's no way anybody relinquished that uh, that right. Okay. So now we, we noted in the Magad Mishnah, Magad Mishnah wrote that the Rambam is following his teacher. And his teacher, as I mentioned, is either the Rif or the Rimagash. So I looked in the Rif and didn't find it in the Rif. So I was looking at something else, looking at the Mukhi Yosef actually. And there he quotes the Ramban. And the Ramban is quoting the Rif stating this halacha from the Ram, that the Rambam said, that chazaka doesn't work. So that's where, obviously, the Magad Mishnah is getting it from, seemingly. It comes from a tshuva response from the Ramban, which has been incorporated into his chedushim, into his commentary on the Gemara, and the Nebuka Yosef cites it. So we're looking now at the actual Ramban, the original Ramban. So the Ramban is addressing Gemara, which we talked about already before. So that's really not something to get, we're going to push through it. And I, I'm not sure 
I'm gonna, well, I'm gonna read it and translate it and I'll ask you for your opinion because I'm not 100% sure if the Ramban is saying something different than the Rosh or the same thing. And I'm not exactly even sure what he's saying. I'm just gonna put it out there. And then the big, uh, the big question, but a question that's now dawning on me is because we, we asked yesterday, why Tzimach Sadek Bechlal is doing this. He's just collecting reasons. I mean, this is, we can go look it up ourselves. And now we find out there's another reason he didn't collect. Or even if it's not another reason, it's another source they didn't put in. So which itself is an uh, interesting... Uh, He's saying that it's kind of a that the same reason as... as either that or Farkert. Or, we, remember, the, the only thing that the Tzimach Sadek adds is the parentheses there. Behind what Dinshah Rambam. If the Rosh is saying the same thing as the Rambam. Maybe he's saying Rambam and not Ramban. Maybe I, 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 maybe I'm reading too much into it. I don't know. Let's just see the Ramban, and then we'll, we'll, we'll kind of see where the Ramban is a very significant source, sir. Sure, and 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 he tells us to look at the Magid Mishnah, and the Magid Mishnah begins by saying that the Ramban is following his teacher, who is the Rif, who's being quoted by the Ramban. So let's see. So the Gemara here is. It's the Gemara earlier, where the Gemara said that because the Mishnah says that the building of the wall is by consent, therefore Alma, this implies, now looking at the Ramban, Hezekri or Loishmei Hezek, that Hezekri is not a Hezek, from the fact that the Mishnah introduces the building of the wall with their consent. That was the original Raya that Hezekri is not Shmei Hezek. So says the Ramban, our great teacher, the Bitzchak Fasi, the Rif, has the following question. Maybe, who said that the reason why they need to consent to build a wall is because Hezekiah is not a Hezek? Perhaps I could tell you that Hezekiah is a Hezek. That Hezekiah is a Hezek. So why do we need to consent to build a wall? And here the Mishnah, what's it referring to? When these two shutvin have a chazaka, to live below mechitz without partition. Boss of the polog after they've already split their properties, they've already each established a chazaka that they don't care about hezekria. So, don't prove from the fact that we need their consent to build the wall that hezekria is a hez- is not a hezek. Maybe hezekria is hezek, but they've relinquished their rights, and that's why they need the consent. He cites another case where there there's uh, two uh, two roofs that are two opposite sides of Rosh Hashanah and they see each other but across a public domain across the street. Each of them didn't build a wall to prevent each other from seeing each other's roofs. That the law is each one has chazaka that they're going to see their friend. I can't force the neighbor across the street to build a wall that I shouldn't see into his, or make him pay for my wall that I shouldn't see into his thing, right? So, because they've already they've already been living like that way, and maybe the same things over here. Yeah, so the Ramban, so what the roof, the roof case or our Mishnah? So I, I, he doesn't give a citation to a case, but he's saying that it should be like that case. We are talking about the, the one, the one we learned from the Gemara is their actual neighbors. This is across the street, so it's even farther. But in the roof, like if you want to build a wall, you just build one because it doesn't matter. Right, but the question is, the question is because you're looking at my 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 roof, can I force you to pay for half my wall? Or maybe maybe force you to pull on your property. I don't know. Whatever the whatever the hypothetical will be. Yeah. The point being that Ramban is basically saying that in that case, no one can compel anybody else to do anything there. So and and presumably the reason is because this is just the way the established house is. So because it's been established that you guys have been living in neighbors without a wall, maybe that's why you need the consent. So generally speaking, Hezekiah is a Hezek. And here the mission needs consent. Because they've relinquished their hezek because of chazak. So he responds by saying that no, you don't have a chazak. So even though the Rif and the Ramban are not talking about 
They're talking about Pshat and the Gemara. And they're talking about during the they're, they're talking about while the Gemara is still in the, under the assumption of the Lash Mehazik. But there it in, it informs you of what the halach is in Hezek Rish Mehazik, which is what the, the Mukhi Yasef does. The Mukhi Yasef, we learned this when we learned from the Mukhi Yasef, we saw that the Mukhi Yasef was only concerned with halach, which is commenting on the Rif. Right? So when the Mukhi Yasef quotes the Rif, he concludes by saying, Kasati calls it, I wrote all of this after quoting the Ramban, at least partially. Because of the virtue you gain in halacha, because once we find out how we learn the Gemara, we see halacha. Right? But as far as the actual law of Chatzar goes, which is, the, what, which is the part of the Gemara talking about, we anyways, in other words, if you're concerned about how to learn the Mishnah, we've concluded that the Mishnah means Hezek Rish Mehezek. But because of the way he understands the Gemara, when it says, Lesh Mehezek, that teaches us what the halacha is by Lesh Mehezek. Namely, right, because the Gemara is arguing that the fact that there's consent implies Lesh Mehezek, which is why I need the consent. The Ramban is saying that's not a proof, that the fact that they need consent is not a proof that it's there is that Hezekiah is a legit Hezek. Maybe it's only because they relinquished. And if the Ramban can conclude by saying, no, you cannot relinquish Hezekiah. So now we translate into the halacha of Hezekiah, Hezek, it means you can't relinquish. And this is the rif that the Magad Mishnah is referring to. Followed? So that's what it is. The, uh, from the beginning. Okay, so why can't why why is the Mishnah why is the Gemara compelled to say that consent equals um Mehazik? Why? Why are we compelled to say that? Because if you have the view of Shmehazik, Hazaka doesn't you can't relinquish Hazaka. That's why I'm forced to say Hazak is, is not a Hazak, and which is why they need consent. Because if you are of the view that Hazak Riyash Mehazak, you never need their consent, even after 20 years. Right. And therefore, the right, front stand, because of the way he learns how you would understand Hezek Mehazek, Mehaz, that tells you that the consent has to be because of Lash Mehazek. Because in Hezek, in Hezek, in, in other words, what the Ramban is coming to is that if the halach is Mehazek, you never need their consent to build a wall. And therefore, if the Mishnah says consent, you have to switch Mehazek. So when he, in supporting the Gemara's learning Lash Mehazek, he comes to halach about Mehazek. So let's see how he said that. And if a now the, the Gemara is settled only once we understand that that if you're the view that is a Hezek, which is the Halacha, then Chazaka doesn't help. Why? What's the reason? So here he gives one reason. And this reason is like the second reason in the Rosh. The key even to call Shaita Vashaita Mitzikle, because at every single moment I'm da- damaging him without a wall being there, Havale Kikutra Babeski say it's like a smokehouse and a bathroom. So this, this is the, the Rif um, giving the same reason as the Rosh. Now, why is Hezekiria, why is there no Chazaka? For some, why is it not possible for anyone to relinquish their Hezekiria? Because it's too common, it's too much, and therefore gets the same status as the bathroom. So this says the Ramban is what the Rif wrote in his response in his Shubhas. And therefore, and now considering that you can never relinquish that kind of damage. And therefore, you cannot ask what the mission is coming to teach you. Therefore, must be that this is why the mission wrote this is now he's translated back into Gemara, which is why I'm not so we're getting to the point of the halacha. This is why the Mishnah says that they consented in, yes. They didn't consent, you don't build a wall. Lashminum to tell us, second picture, that Hezekiah is not a Hezek. Because if Hezekiah were a Hezek, you wouldn't need their consent at all, even 20 years later. Now he says like this, Umiyo, however, says the Ramban, even though the Rif is only introducing the Svara to answer a question in Pshat and the Gemara, and he's learning when he's teaching the Pshat and the Gemara, he's learning when the Gemara is under the assumption that Hezekri is not Shmehazek, but Shavri the Rabbeinu, the logic of the Rabbeinu, Salkale is still halacha, is in the conclusion. It's in the conclusion. The conclusion remains. Now that we understand that Hezekri is Hezek, we still retain that conclusion that Hezekri is Shmehazek even in the face of a Chazaka for 10 years, 20 years, 100 years, whatever. No Chazaka in the face of Hezekri. And the reason that I'm, the Rif gave is the second reason of the Rosh. Which will, which was, well, the Rosh came after the, the Rif, so maybe the Rosh got it from the Rif, I don't know. But the second reason of the same reason that's quoted in second, second in the Rosh, which is 
that it's so continuous that it gets the status of a bathroom against which no chazaka works. Okay. Now, and that which the student of the Rif, of the Ramban or the Rif, I think it's the Rif, I'm not sure. Maybe it's the student of either of them. No, no, sorry, look, it's the, uh, the Ramban's talking, so it's a student of the Rif. Now, and that which Rabbi Yosef Alevi responded to his teacher, the Rif, in seemingly um, dis disproving his teacher's position, this halacha, that there's no such thing as a chazaka in the face of Hezekiah. Where did he ask the question from? He asked the question from Mahadat Tanan, from that which the Gemara is going to say later in Dafim Chasam al Beis, that Chaloin Ha Mitzri ain't la Chazaka. But the Lutz, I'm not sure how to pronounce the word, but Lutzri, Lutzri, yes, the Chazaka. So the Gemara is going to talk about they were not learning the laws of Cheska Sabatin, but the laws, the Gemara is in, in, in the third pedic of Babasar, Cheska Sabatin, talks about the laws of Chazaka. And there it says that if you have a small wall, you can't have a chazaka. A big wall, a big, I'm sorry, a big, small window, small window, um, no chazaka. And a big window, yes, there is a chazaka. So on the simple face of it, you would say, why is a big window I get a chazaka? Because you see it. You see that I'm making this huge, massive window and you see that I'm constantly walking by and looking. And that's why uh, you, if you don't protest, you relinquish the chazaka, right? This is l'chura, this is... Yes, so this seems to be the positive action taking in the, in the Maghreb Mishnah and the Rosh. They also say it's more constant. Yeah, either way. Yeah. In other words, but that, but that fits in line. But so the, the Rosh would answer at this point, yeah, because the window's not as constant. And the Maghreb Mishnah would answer at this point, yeah, because the window you took an action. But how does the, how does the Ramban respond? The Hasim over there. Over there, we're talking about a window that does not cause Hezekiah. Huh? Well, the window that's small doesn't have a chazaka. Doesn't make a difference. The big window that has a chazaka, there's the problem. So the Ramban says the reason why the chazaka over there, the reason why uh, the, he has a chazaka is because there's no Hezekiah. So then what's the chazaka for? Presumably, you understood that what's the chazaka? The chazaka is that I have the open window. You can't tell me that I'm damaging you by looking at you. So, what's the chazaka I have if there's no hezekiah anyways in this window? So, it says, I have a chazaka that you cannot build a wall opposite blocking the light from coming into my window, which is another chazaka that you can have. That if I've been established, you never protested my big window. And the other guy, wants to build a wall on his property right opposite my window. So he has to move his wall away for Amis because he shouldn't make my room dark. Right? But in a window where there is Hezekiah to his friend, continuously, so this is an argument on the, on the Magad Mishnah and the Rosh. Because the Magad Mishnah said, once you take, if you're taking an action, even if, even if you're making hezekiah, you have to, you have to, you have to, you have to, uh, you have to protest if you if you want to if you want to prevent hezekiah. Once you don't protest, you the other guy has a chazaka for, for taking an action, right? And there are and the tzemach tzedek said that the rasha is the same thing as the rambam's halacha, which means the rasha say the same thing. That if you are continue no, let's see what would the rasha say. The Rosh would say, yeah, the Rosh would say, no, you see, the Rosh would say, if it's packed, oh, the Rosh argues that window is not a continuous, uh, the Rosh is straight up, that, that window is not a continuous uh, um, damaging. Whereas the Ramban says it is a continuous damaging. And if there's continuous damaging by the window, making Hezekiah, no Chazaka. Whereas the Rosh said, because it's a window, it's not continuous. Yes, Chazaka. Following? So it seems like it's Machlaikis. It seems. Av Bachalin Shesh, like, say again the same line. Av Bachalin Shesh, but in the window where there is Hezekiah, the Chavedo to my friend, I never get a Chazaka because I'm constantly damaging him. 
Why? Because the person who's look, who I'm looking at and I'm damaging him by looking at from my big window can say to me, I thought I'd be able to handle it. And now it's been five years and I can't handle it anymore. And because it's a continuous damage, I can't constantly be on guard. Maybe you're looking at your window now. And he said, I'm fed up. I can't handle it anymore. This is the opinion of our great teacher, the Rif. So a, a dispute, it seems like it's a dispute between the Rif and the Rosh and the, and the Rambam. Right, the Rambam wrote that if I open up a window looking into my neighbor's yard and the guy doesn't respond, doesn't protest, I get a chazak, I'm allowed to keep the window. And the reason is either like the Magad Mishnah said, because they're going to action, or the reason is like the, like the Rosh said, because it's not continuous damage. Either way, or because it's not so bad, it's not like a bathroom, right? So then I can get a chazaka. Whereas the Ramban seems to say that, no, a window that does hezekriya, you can't get chazaka. Hezekriya never gets chazaka. The chazaka you get is that the other guy can't block me. He can't build a wall blocking me. But not that the person relinquishes his hezekriya. So it seems to be a shtika mach like this. Now, I'm, it just occurred to me now. So, let's, so that's the other thing. Unless the Ramban is qualifying what the Rosh would be saying. Maybe, maybe. Look at the, he brings two types of windows because the Gemara brings two types of windows. The Mishnah and Baf Nanches brings two types of windows. That's why he put. The Rosh didn't bring it in the, the, the Mimagu Mishnah. So maybe he's qualifying that there are different types of windows because actually you might be right because you have the Gemara in front of you. So go to Baf Nanches, Mid Beis, Mid Aleph, I'm sorry. No, on the base. Okay, so look at Nashi, Chalena Mitzris, right? Where there's a, 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 the Egyptian window, which is small, no Chazaka. The other window is big, yes, Chazaka. So it says Rashi. Only because you mentioned this, I'm doing this, because I don't, I don't want to go down the rabbit hole of uh, Chazaka's and windows. That's not our sugya. But uh, it's just interesting in terms of how we understand the, the lack of Chazaka by two neighbors of a wall, right? What did the Ramban say? What was the reason? Look at the Ramban again. What did he say? What was the reason? So first he said, he first he quoted the riff which said that it's like, it's like a, he quoted the riff which said that it's like, a, it's like a bathroom, like the second ants in the rush. But then he also added this idea of continuous damage. And he said that the window has the same status as continuous damage, which is why such a window, you can't get a chazaka. Yeah. Okay, but since you mentioned that, you said um, you asked maybe uh, different types of windows Right, so so far, no. Yeah, so maybe, maybe, but the Rosh says there, Lahore not, because the Rosh is saying when you do get a Chazaka, and the Chazaka is clearly in the Mishnah when you have a bigger window. Right? But it could be that there's different types of windows windows for light, windows for vision, windows for the small, tiny ones, like it's just to check out my, my gardens. I, make, you know, I don't want to be able to see my yard. So I, want, I, don't want, I don't want to keep an eye on it. Anyway. I don't want to go down that down there, but I, I do, sorry, but I do want to show you one more thing before we get back to our Gemara. If you go to the Mukha Yosef, who quoted the Ramban, he adds a word here that I don't see in the Ramban. He has a picture of that. Okay, so in my print of the Gemara, okay, so the, the it's on base, it's with base on the base. Uh, okay, you have to look in the in the Rif, in, on, in the Nuk Yosef, 
okay, the, the paragraph begins with the word time of the Rotsu, which is on the second or third page. Time of the Rotsu. So that's a picture? Sorry? I can post a picture of this. I can post a picture on the group. Oops. Thank you. He adds a line in when he's quoting the Ramban. So I have the Ramban handy. You see it? Time of the it's based with base. The paragraph before is in, the, in parentheses. Starts off in Sari Shemena, and the next paragraph is Tam Derotsu. Oh, so it goes into base with base in the uh, in the in the in the Mukiyosis commentary after Gemara, right? See, so there's Gemara, Pirush Ma Mechitza. Keep on going a few paragraphs down. One second, I'll show you. Found it. Okay, so he quotes the Ramban there, and then he says this line, he adds a word that, 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 that we don't see in the Ramban, at least not in the way we have it. The cost of a Ramban zao. Kosva Rambanza, the Chay Nira, that so it seems, the Loy Mahanya Chazaka, that doesn't, Chazaka doesn't help, meaning Chazaka doesn't help by the fact that my wall has been fallen for all this time. Elo ben Niske Momen, only when there's a damage of monetary value. Abdovashuba, sorry, Abdovashuba Asma Nizik Boy, but something with its, which itself, he himself is getting damaged. Loy not. Do you see it anywhere in the Ramban? Not in the one we have here. I, 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 I don't. Is that finished? So it's another reason. Something which is ba'atzma, something which is chazaka um, is only beniske moment when it's monetary value. I am causing you to have less money as a result of my actions, but not in some way where I'm also getting loss of money in that same thing. Oh, it's lack of value. Not, really lack of, but you're, you're doing the same back to me because I have a garden next to you also. Yeah. Two Guinness, right? Yeah. But it, it, it's a new reason for why Chazaka doesn't work. And it's not in the Ramban. The Nimuk Yosef is quoting the Ramban. He said before, he quotes the whole thing and then he adds this thing. I don't... Maybe there's a part of the Ramban I'm missing. I have to look at it again, but I don't see it here in this Ramban. Anyway, okay, so I just want to point that out to, to, to Mashlam Dinyan to conclude this thing. Since we talked about the Tzimach Tzedek just as uh, collecting sources, now we see there's more to it. And I'm sure there's much more. So, all right. Let's go back to the Gemara. Damaging himself means he's damaged. The one, the Mazik is also Nezik. Yosef. Yeah. So I, it's 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 not clear because the Rosh says that, right? Uh, uh, sorry, yeah, the Rosh said that. Uh, one of the reasons is because we're equally damaging each other. He doesn't say that clearly in Mok Yosef. He just says that Chazak only works by Niski moment, but not when a case where I'm being where I'm Nizik also. Mm -hmm. So it's like a it's like a hybrid of some sort. I'm, I'm not quite sure on the Mok Yosef. Just and, and the, the interesting part is. That he doesn't even he's quoting the Ramban and we don't see it in our Ramban. Can it be that he's in, sorry? Can it be that it's not because he's comparing music mama to music atomoid, meaning that it's not damaging his money, but damaging the not the you know the goof of the person, like his his Mitzias? That, that maybe it's like a it's an incalculable um a damage. 
But I don't think yeah. that's true because you could calculate. You can go to the market and see how much is this house worth if there's a wall and how much is the house worth if there's no wall. And now you've uh, determined the cost of the, of the, the damage. Well, the damage has a career. It's just saying that you're looking at me as invading my privacy. Right, but the, 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 what is it, what's the monetary value of that? How much less the value the, value the house is worth? Right? So let's just say it's one, it's one direction. Someone sees into my house. What's the, what's the value of the damage? I can't see into his house, he sees into mine. The value is if I want to sell it, seemingly someone's going to walk in and say, so I have a neighbor that might be looking at me all day long. Okay. I'm only willing to take that risk if I can pay much less for it. You know, I'm guessing it's the way you would measure the damage. Okay. Or the damage is how much the cost would be to prevent it. How much does it cost to put up a wall to prevent it? Maybe that's how you measure the damage. But there's a monetary value either way, right? So I'm not 100% sure what the nemokiasis means. Anyway, okay, let's go to the Gemara. Just a nice, interesting little. Okay, so now we're in we're at the next question in the Gemara. Right, the Gemara says it's going to ask six questions regarding the opinion that says hezek ridi alash hezek. The first two questions, the uh, first question we read was Gina, and Tysis is the second question, but in the Gemara sequence after the uh, parentheses, it's only uh, question number one, right? When the Gemara gives the, I think it's called a, a mnemonic, a mnemonic when you give like simon. Yeah, so this is the second one. The first one was Vachem Begina, and the way Tysis said it, a simpler way of understanding it is because the Gemara, the Mishnah concludes that by a Gina, Especially as the Gemara concludes it later, as Tesis informed us, the Gemara tells us later that that if the local custom, if there is no local custom as to how, whether or not you put up a wall between yards, you treat it as if there's a custom and you compel the neighbors to build. And the Gemara, the Mishnah uses the language Mahaivanoisai. That's implied that there's Hezekiriya. Says the Gemara, no, Dina is different because there's a there's a damage of Einhar. But ordinarily, no such thing as Hezekiriya. Next question on the opinion that says, says Zikrish Behesek. Tashma come in here. This is from the Mishnah later. It's a continuation of our Mishnah, but the Gemara splits it up. Or maybe it's even the second Mishnah, but it's not, it's not this, it's a continuation to our Mishnah, which reads, Kaisel Chatzar, a wall that's in a yard between two yards, Shanafal fell, Mechaivinois, Livnois, they are compelled to rebuild the wall. Adal amas up to four amas. Beyond that, if I want the wall to be restored, I cannot compel my neighbor to to um, split the cost. Even if originally the wall was ten amas high, now it fell, and now I want to have the wall back. I can compel my neighbor to split the cost up to four amas. So how does this prove that Hezekiah says it is a, is a, is a how do we prove that Hezekiah is a Hezek from this? Says Rashi, Mechai Bahachan over here, in the case of the wall that fell, like a tunnel We didn't learn, we didn't use the language that if they consent, we can build the wall. Allow karcha, but rather it's mechaivinois against their will. That's in plot, that, that's the raya that has a kriyash mehezek. Right? This is the rasha I was referring to yesterday. That, it, that if the vechain begins also because mechaivinois, they should have said it then. Okay, but the question here is clear in Rashi's view. The, the Mishnah says, so you compel them to build the wall. When seeing the Mishnah thing, it says, it should be up to their consent. Answers the Gemara, yeah? Answers the Gemara. Not fall shiny. If the wall fell, then it's different. And there's more of a reason to compel him, even though there's no such thing as Hezekriya. Why if the wall fell is a difference? Says Rashi, not fall shiny. Because the original people already consented to a wall, and therefore that the obligation of their consent rolls over to us. Which is why. Sorry? Oh, because then if it's the same people, then we consented in the past. So. Right, so I could for sure compel you to rebuild it. That holiday, I could for sure 
In other words, even if even if Hezekri is not a Hezek, even if even if Hezek, even if Hezekri is not a Hezek, if we both consented to build a wall and the wall fell, I can compel you to put it back because we consented. Right over here, we're trying to prove that Hezekri is not a Hezek, Hezekri is a Hezek, and that's why we're compelling you. So says says the Gemara, the reason why we're compelling you is not because Hezekri is a Hezek, but because it was consent to the previous owners. And the consent to the previous owners carries over to you magically. That, that's the thing in law? Okay, because there's a lot of kashas on this Rashi. People ask, why is Rashi going with this Pshat? Because we've seen Tais is a different Pshat, which seems to make much more sense on the simple level. But anyway, let's just learn Rashi first and then we'll go to Tais after. So the reason why um, here they're compelled to build a wall, even though Hezekri is not a Hezek, is because there's consent to the original owners who built it. Okay. The Gemara asks, Udikari law, and the one who raised this objection, my Kari law, what was he what was he thinking? What was he objecting to? When the person raised this quote as a question, that Machaivanoi said to build the Kaisal after it fell, what was he thinking? Why, why would he even think that proves Hezekri is not a Hezek? Says Rashi in explaining this uh, question to Gemara. Did the guy not know that when a wall falls, it's different? You're going to make a universal statement that you're always obligated to, to build walls because of Hezekri, because when a wall was there and it fell, you have to rebuild. So what was he thinking? Says the Gemara, He thought that the, that the law is truly universal, compelled to build. I, why did the Mishnah there use the language of Nafal? If it's a universal law, it needed it for the second clause, which is that beyond four walls is not compelled. Even though you had notes like this, the, the person who asked the question thought this way. Hezekiah is Hezek. And therefore, you always have to build a wall. Always. Now, if there was a wall of 10 to Amis, and now it fell, you don't have to go back to the 10 Amis, you can just stick at the four. And that's the only reason why the Mishnah there used the language of a wall that fell. Because in essence, it's a universal law. You always rebuild it. And that's what he meant. That's what he, that's what he was thinking when he asked the question. And therefore, the response is, no. The mission there is not a universal law. It's specific to when it was standing and now it fell. Because universally, Lash me hezek. Okay? Let's see how Rashi says it. Say for it's the Kolaymar, meaning to say. Ayyar Rosh Hashiva, Rosh Taimut used to say that whenever Rashi introduces his pshat with the word Kolaymar, it means that Something is wrong in Rashi's path, and he has to like tight your iron. Glimar, meaning to say, it's not so simple. Meaning to say. So he'd always make us break our head to try to figure out why Rashi's saying Glimar. Like, what's wrong with the Pshat that he's saying Glimar? Just putting that out there. Not that I have anything on this Rashi, but okay. Glimar, meaning to say. The law that you have to build a wall is true, even if it never fell, right from the start, outset. Now, by the Tony Nafal, now, the fact that the Mishnah decided to teach you this law in a case where the wall fell, if it's a universal law, just say so from the beginning. Says Rashi, as, the, as explained the Gemara, Mishum Seifa, the, the Mishnah used the language of a, the Mishnah explicitly talked about a wall that fell in order to teach you the law, the second clause. Last minute to teach you the Yosem, without Amas and Machaib, that beyond four Amas, you're not responsible. After Shardishna, you go by Yosem, even though the original wall was much higher than four Amas. Like Machaib, you still don't compel him to build the wall. Okay. The Pashtas, by the way, you could say the reason why Rashi says Kolaymar is because it's a very Shvacha Havamina. The Gemara here talked about a wall. Put the law here. Meaning, in this Havamina's view, the Mishnah there is teaching you a universal law. You just happen to say the word Nafal to teach you, you don't have to go more than four. Right? Isn't the universal law in our Mishnah in this view? If you believe Hezek, Rishmi Hezek, and isn't the universal law already stated in this Mishnah? So now again, another universal law. Maybe that's the Kolaymar. Anyway, okay, so this is, this is Rashi way of learning the Gemara. Now let's see Toysvis. Why is Nafal shining? Because why is it a diff So the questioner originally quoted the Mishnah, which said that when a wall falls, if you rebuild it, you're obligated to build it. And as we learned from Rashi, because the language is Machai Benoist is compelled to, must be because Hezekiah is a Hezek, otherwise why are we compelling? The Chorah consent, right? So Gemara answered, no, when the wall falls, it's different. It's not because Hezekiah, generally speaking, is not a Hezek, but in this case, because the wall was standing, because the wall was, because it fell, therefore they have to rebuild it. 
And Rashi said, why did they be compelled to rebuild it? Rashi told us because she kind of the original owners already consented to the wall, and that consent rolls over to the new owners somehow. But Tosis says a much simpler explanation. Not fall shiny. Why is it different when a wall fell? Because the wall has been standing there for all these years since they bought the home. So they've already got accustomed to doing private matters in their backyard or their front yard. And they've not accustomed themselves to being careful, maybe someone's watching me now. Which means, what's Tyson saying? That Hezekiah becomes a Hezek when the wall fall, when the wall was standing. In Rashi, even when the wall falls, Hezekiah is not a, not, not a Hezek. Why are you building it? Because there's an obligation from the previous consent. But Hezekiah is not a Hezek. Wow. But in Tyson is saying like this, no, no, no. Once you get accustomed to privacy, Hezekiah becomes a Hezek. Now you got to build it. Even though it's not in general, that's right. So this is exactly, and this is this is this further supports my contention that in Tosis' view, each of the Gemara's questions are limiting the scope of Lach Mehezek. First limited and said, if there's a if there's Ein Hara, no Hezekiah. Now a new thing: if you got accustomed to privacy, also Hezekiah. Another another limitation, right? Which further supports the position of Tosis, which says that this whole thing is deflections. Yeah, not subjective. I, I got used to it. What do you want from me now? Right, I'm going to see even further, and not Tysus is further going to be highlighting in each in each of the questions. For is going to be further highlighting the limitation aspect, and even if you have the view that Lashmi Hezek, we're limiting it and limiting it and limiting it. Is this saying that we can't presume that is causing the Hezek, but if it's actually causing the Hezek, then exactly Hezek. right. So you can get even deeper. That Ashi is saying Hezek, if you're in the position of Lashmi Hezek, and your and your position is it doesn't count as damage, period, yeah. and therefore. You used to have a wall, did have a wall? Or it's always deemed to be damaging, even if it's not causing you actual damage. We deem that it's damaging. In Rashi's view. Yeah. I mean, we deem that it's not damaging. And therefore, too bad. Yeah. Finished. And, and the fact that we build the wall is because, not because it's any damaging, because we've decided that Hezekiah is not a Hezek. But in Tysus's view, Hezekiah is a Hezek. Right? Varaya, if you got accustomed to privacy, you got to put it up. Yeah, what do you say, Moshe? He's just saying that Hezekiah is, is Lash May Hezek, except in these exceptions. That's a, that's what you're saying when it limits it? Yeah. And you're going to see there's so many exceptions that it's almost rare that the Hezekiah is not Hezek. Because every every case that the Gemara is going to fight and for every answer is going to limit. Because each time the Gemara answers and says, oh, that case is different, that case is different, it means it's another case in which Hezekiah is a Hezek. And that's why it's an exception to the rule. But the exceptions become so many that there's barely a time when Hezekiah is not a Hezek anymore. So it, 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 it seems to me that this is further to Tosis' opinion that all these answers are deflections. Okay, but, but on, the, on, the, on the simple reading, this is a much better explanation than Rashi, right? So you must say that Rashi is of the opinion that, Hezek, that if you're the, if you're the view last Hezek and launch me Hezek, it's never considered a Hezek. And the fact that you got comfortable, so what? So what if you got comfortable? And if Rashi has to find a new, a new reason for why you have to build it, not for shiny. Why is not for shiny? Because there's the rollover consent from the previous owners. No, it's the opinion. It's, it's how he's understanding Lashmi has it. Yeah, how, how he's understanding Lashmi has it. But no, but, but this but this becomes not for shiny is the Gemara's conclusion that if you're the view Lashmi has it, not for shiny. Why is not for shiny? Not because you got accustomed to it, but because there's a consent from the previous owners in Rashi's opinion, right? And here comes the Shturim the Kakasha on Rashi. If it's a question of Consent from the previous owners, then why are you stopping at Fort for Amos? It's a major cash. And this is what the Ram Maram says. Look at the back of the Maram. Why are you stopping at Fort Amos? If it's a consent, exactly. If it's a consent to the previous owners, consent is consent. It's a very shvera, it's a very delicate thing. So we remember the agreement. We have, a copy, we have a copy of the contract. And if they don't copy of the contract, then not fall, they don't have to rebuild the wall. It's epistelic. So let's look, let's look at the Maram. Maram. It's the, it's the uh, first, the second page in the Marsha, under the line is the Maram. So he says there, Dibar Maskal to not fall shiny. You see it? Moshe, you have it? 
No, I said, you want a picture? Yeah, I'll post a picture of the Maram. Thank you. Um, okay, so it's there. Then not all shiny. So he quotes the Toysis. Why should Hurgul lost this? Because they got accustomed, they got from comfortable doing private things. Says, says the Maram, literally, it seems to me the Pirushu came as the Toysis chose to explain it this way. Because they have the obvious question on Nashi's opinion. The Pirushu Shashi explained. Not for shiny. Why is it different when a false shikfana satori shiny because because the original owners consented to a wall? Said, said the Maram, Kimal First of all, why is the why is the consent of the first of, of the first people all over to me? Why? But oid moreover monoshaf. Like either way, if you are up, if you are obligated to uphold the consent of the original owners, in Cain of Solom, that must mean the Chayvu. You should also be obligated to go higher than Faramis. Whatever the wall was before, that was the consent that you have to build. Because the original one was more than four amas, so why are we stopping at four? So good. So I'm sure there's I'm sure there's a chrenim and a shenim that discuss this, but Ula Yesh Lemar, and it gets back to the Mishnah. Maybe. Remember we said in the Lefichach. Remember the big Lefichach, because. When they built it, they built it um, uh, because when they built it, they built it against their consent. Therefore, when it falls, we can be sure that it's 50 50. That was the Lefichach. So, and we, we, we noted then that there's different ways of formulating exactly what the Lefichach is. So, Toysvah says on the Lefichach, Pirush, if you should buy them a Kaisa because the wall is built against their will, or because they made a kingdom to each other, Lilish Nakama, according to the first version. The first version is Lash Mezek. We're learning the first version now, which means in Taisis' view, the Lafikach is, in Taisis' view on, in this, in this reading of, of uh, Halzik Lash Mezek, the Lafikach, the reason why later when it falls, we split the properties because you made a kingdom to each other. So if that's your guy, if that's your, if that's your attitude, then if the kingdom stands, it's got to be all the way to the whole kingdom, which is why he looks at Rashi and says, if, it's, if you're going to follow the Kenyan of, of the original owners, you got to build a whole ten because that was the Kenyan. Okay. But how did, how did Rashi formulate what, what Lefichach was? Lefichach. Why do we split 50 50? Because at the beginning of the building, the Chachamim obligated them to build between the two. So what's the stress here? Not because you were cutting it to each other. Rashi not machal between the two lishnas. This is, this is universal. That why are you splitting it? Even if the reason why you built it because you guys consented. But why are you splitting the property? Because the Chachamim obligated you to build it in this manner. And because the Chachamim obligated, obligated you to build it in this manner, therefore, you split 50-50. So, yesh lemar, maybe we, we could say like this. That once there's consent, now there's a chiyu from Chachamim. And that's what rolls over to the next owners. The, the what, what rolls over to, because, kiv, and, and this is this is bidiuk, in, in, in Rashi's language here, Rashi says, the, the original owners already consented in a wall. The word Bukaiso didn't even have to be there. He could just say, because the original ones already consented. You consented to build the wall as the Chachamim said to. So now this wall has the force of Chaibim Chachamim the Chachamim's obligation. You decide to go beyond that, your business. But when we're going to now say that when we now are going to oblige that this property has to have a has to have a wall, it's only so far as Chayim Chachamim goes, and the Chayim Chachamim is only four amas. It's a stretch and it's a topol, but maybe, maybe. No, four amas came up for us. The Gemara is talking about four amas. Never came up yet, at least not, not yet for us. So now it came up for the first time. Said, yes, yes, yes. For us, it came up now for the first time in Nafa, yes. Yeah. Yeah. And over Dalai Lama, is not Chaibim Chacham anymore. Right. It doesn't have the force of Chaibim Chacham. Okay. Maybe because in Tosis's view, he says clearly he splits between the two lishnas. He says if you're talking about lishna, 
that has a Kriyash Mehazek, then why is there Lefichach? Because it's Balkarcha. In the first Lishna Lash Mehazek, why is it Lefichach? Because Hikmu Zelozeh. So the Hikmu Zelozeh goes on whatever, the cons- whatever your consent was. And in, the, in this case, their consent was a ten walk, because that's what they had. But in Ashi's view, with Lefichach, the reason why it belonged, the reason why there's the, 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 the wall belongs 50 50 is because Chayavim Chachamim, then if we're going to reestablish as a Chayavim Chachamim, we can't go more than what the Chachamim are actually obligated. And the Chachamim's wall is four Amis. Maybe. Just to go stretch, but maybe. I'm sure there's a Shayim, I'm sure there's other Achayim that discuss this. Okay, let's go right there. Let's look at the next Taisvis. So the Gemara asked, would the Kari my Kari Gemara asked, the person who asked the question and cited this mission of Nafal as a proof that Hezekri is not a Hezek, what was he thinking? Did he not know that a wall, fallen wall is different? Right? Did he, not, well, did he not know that a fallen wall is different? So what did Rashi say? Rashi said simply, the Chiloy of the Nafal shining, did he not know that, wall, that a fallen wall is different? But Taisis was much more elaborate and much deeper. And this is going to further support my contention, by the way. Let's see. Kalemar mean to say, now Taisa sees the word Kalemar. Huh? Yeah. Okay, so yeah, it's a good question on Rashi, right? I guess, in other words, when the Mishnah limits a case to a certain case, you have to assume that the limitation is specific, unless you have some reason to say not so. So did he not know that a follow is different? It's a specific case. Why making universal? That's what Rashi seems to be saying. But Taisis actually gives a much uh, more tangible explanation. It says like this. Kalema meant to say, Pshita the Nafal sign. It should be exceedingly obvious that when a wall falls, it's different. But Adraba, again, remember, why, why is it why is a fallen wall different than Taisis of you? Because you guys got comfortable with, with private with privacy. Says Taisis. This notion that once you get pri- once you get accustomed to privacy, and that's why now forever you can oblige your neighbor to build a wall because you've gotten comfortable being private, Adraba is so strong that from the very fact that the Mishnah says you have to rebuild a wall when it falls, you should have said that from the fact that the Mishnah says you have to rebuild a wall when it falls, is a raya that generally speaking, and Hezek is only when you get comfortable with it. Rashi could not say this because Ra- Rashi couldn't go this far. Rashi could not go this far because Rashi never made this issue of you got comfortable with it. So what, you, were you going to prove from Nafal that it's limited to Nafal? So Rashi just says, didn't you realize that Nafal is different? But in Tarsus, it's not just Nafal different. It's Adirab. Because Hezekiah actually is a Hezek in Tarsus' view, even in the opinion of Lashmi Hezek. But the Hezekiah is only when you're comfortable. So if so, then you bring this as an eye that Hezekiah is limited to when you're comfortable. When you've gotten comfortable with, with privacy. But Rashi, Rashi can't make this. Rashi can't say this. Because look, as we're learning, as the way we're learning it now, at least, in Rashi's view, if you're the opinion Lashmi Hezek, period, it doesn't exist. It's not it's a non-existent Hezek. And if it's a non-existent Hezek, standing, falling, once was there, not there. It's not a Hezek. So why are you building? Because because you once upon a time agreed. Right? So, so Rashi can't say if the muffle turns into an Adraba. But Taisis can clearly say so because the logic is very sound. Comes out beautiful. Okay. One more. Let's do one more. Probably even two more. Two more um, kashas. So we did the kasha of Gina. We did the kasha of Kaisa, which is the fall, the wall that fell. Now another another uh, din. Tashma coming here in the in, in the Gemara. This is also later in our track in our pedic in the Zion. Well, there it says, we compel everybody in the shared property to build a entranceway, or uh, I think it's called a uh, like a vestibule, the delas and a door, lachatzer to the yard. So what's this? Says Rashi. Let's look at Rashi. Base shar. Sorry, koy for noy soy. Kol echum bnei achet achatzer lotzis chelka bebinyan. We compel each member of the shared courtyard. To contribute to the building of the base shar, of this uh, like uh, vestibule, doesn't a good way to put it. Entryway. It's an entryway to the yard, right? So there's a wall, there's a yard, and then there's houses in, facing into the yard. 
So all the people that are in the yard are compelled to build an entranceway to the, to the yard itself, which itself is walled off. Okay, what does this mean? We build a wall that directly opposite to the entrance. A full semicircle, so which means it's completely closed off. Then in this semicircle you make Pesach cut on a small door, Minasad on the side. So now people walking the street don't see inside of your property. Even when the door's open, they don't see inside your property because your door goes to the side and then you gotta make a right to get into the actual thing. Following? Okay. Uh, you follow that motion? Yeah? Okay, Mishum Hezekiah because that way it prevents Hezekiah from the people who are on the public domain. Shall you take a that you shouldn't see into the into your yard, and you prevent that by putting the semicircle uh, and then a door on the side. Okay, so this is a guy that Hezekiah is, is a Hezek because we're compelling him to build this base shot to prevent Hezekiah. Says the Gemara, no, Hezek the Rabim shining. The Hezek of the of the public is different. There's so many people that it turns into Hezekiah. So let's see how, Tais, how Rashi explains this. And you'll see again a difference between Rashi and Tesis, and I think it's right going to be in line with the way we're learning. Hezek the Rabbim, the Hezek of the Rabbim. What's the Hezek of the Rabbim? Shekol B'nei Shabbim Stakon Boy. The entirety of the public domain is looking inside. And that's why there's Hezek here. Sorry? In Tesis' view? Let's see Tesis. It's a little, little different than Rashi. Okay, so Rashi says, and what's the Hezek is called, again, Kol B'nei Shabbim Mistakon Shom. Rashi didn't have to say anything here. It's self understood. Hezekiah, Hezekiah, the Rabbim, the difference. Self understood. But what does he add here? What's the one word he adds? Call. So the difference. She called, but she said, I'm stuck by the entirety of the public domain is looking in. And that's why it's Hezekiah, the Rabbim. And I'm thinking the reason why Rashi's doing this is because in Rashi's view, Hezekiah, again, is not a thing that we're relinquishing, but it does not exist. So if you want to say that it exists in some other capacity, it has to be extreme. It can't just be one or two people are looking in. It's got to be everybody's looking in. It's so bad. Okay, fine. Hezek is a, is a Hezek. But otherwise, it does not exist. But we're going to see in Taisvis, it's not the whole Rosh Hashanah seeing in. So some people are seeing in. And even if some people are seeing in, it's already Hezek. Right there. The way I'm learning it is that in Taisvis, if you talk, uh, every case introduces a new time where Hezek is Hezek, and therefore limiting the scope of Lash Me Hezek. So let's see how Taisvis says it. Hezek is Rabbi Shiny. Now, but after the Kamon, even though later, after the Gemara had that Mishnah, the Gemara is going to say, the Mashma, it's implied from the Gemara later, that this whole din of building uh, the Bey Shar is Ivy is talking about it's a chutz that's not directly open to the public. It's off a side road. Nonetheless, there's still Hezek of Rabbim. The Zimnin, because at times, Dachi Rabim, the public is so is so pressed and so overcrowded. But I will have and they go up there. Because I mean, come on, the Gemara says there. So already you see it's not Kolish, it's Rabin. It's only sometimes there's an overflow crowd and some people go there. Not everybody. And they need to limit it even further. But Abishi become Leo, and Abishim become Leo later in the Gemara. Ah, forgot the list. Like, high time with the Zim Dachi Rabin, even though he's, he's of the view and he disregards this idea. That sometimes people go are it's so overcrowded that sometimes people walk off onto the side. Mikomakum unless, even though he's not a, he doesn't think that that's a thing. This whole idea of people getting overcrowded and walking off to the side streets, not a thing. And Mikomakoim, nevertheless, are still has a kriya. What kind of has a kriya? From a distance they can see inside. So not only is it not everybody, it's actually only from a distance. In Chase's view from Shibagamil. Which is why. Rabbi Rishim Gamil only disregards the law of a Beishar. But a door, they, he agrees you have to build. Because the Hezekri of some people seeing from far is already good enough to, to make you build a wall. Not the whole Beishar, but at least a wall. So you see what he clearly different tests in Rashi again. Rashi says that why is Hezekri Rabbim shiny? Because everybody sees called Beish, called Shusra Rabbim. And, I, and I'm thinking the reason is because if Hezekri is not a thing, it, it just does not exist. Not that we're saying it does, it's not quantifiable or we're saying that we can't qualify it. It's not a thing. So why would Hezek Rabin make a difference? It has to be so extreme that Kol Rosh Rabin, everybody sees it. That, it's, it's, I, that I can't even look at my own yard because whole it's entire place. Not, it's not the 
I just, it's just completely unusable. But in Tyson's view, doesn't have to go so extreme because Hezekiah is a thing. Baharai, we saw that if you get comfortable with it, Hezekiah becomes a thing. And now we sing a new, a new din. If it's one neighbor, in other words, like this. Hezek, Yelash, Mehezek, in Tysus' view, we could say it's not a rule, it's an exception. Because it's only two people, it's only a few neighbors, okay, so no big deal, Lash, Lash, Mehezek. But when other people see who aren't our neighbors, even if it's only a few of them, and even if they're only seeing from far, it's enough to cause a Hezek. Okay, so we get comfortable with each other because we're neighbors and we're going to be okay. So Hezek, Yelash, Mehezek is almost becoming an exception, not the rule. Because once you're comfortable, Hezek is a Hezek. And Ashi, once you get comfortable, Hezek is not Hezek, it doesn't exist. So look, that's, that, this could be why Rashi is stressing that call the Nishasra. Again, oh, this is up for debate, you can disagree. And I'm sure there's other, other ways of reading this. But this seems to be, this seems to me to be, so far all the diokin that we're pointing out fit. I'm sure there's others that don't fit, but uh, okay. Okay, stop over here. Yeah? Okay. Mr. Shem will continue um, next week. I found, by the way, uh, the Rebbe's Nyanam on Bab Basra. So I, found, I don't know if it's the same one that Zelikson has in Mafteach, I don't think. But some I found it on the, my the digital library. It's a book that someone put together called Tradition from the Rebbe on, on, on Shas. And on this Mishnah, the first Taisvis, where Taisvis makes the sequence between the uh, previous Mesech, between Baba Kamba, Mitzvah, and Basra, whether it's three Mesechta or one Mesechta, it explains that up here, this, and how we fight in Afshah Bahamas. We'll have a look at it one day. Okay. I'm good to knock it. Yeah. Yeah. What's the connection to the previous Gemara? Seems like this whole discussion is Yeah. Would be that. The seeing is deemed by law, whether it's causing actual damage or not, it's deemed to be a damage. Right. So you can't do it. So they're actually saying, okay, so if we're so that if you want to take lush may have it, it's not deemed to be a damage, it's never a damage. Ah. Uh, and Tysus Tysus conversely would say, say okay, okay, fine, it's not deemed to be a damage. But, but it's damaging. It's actually causing damage. Uh -huh. And then therefore the split between Lash Mehazek and Shmehazek would be only to what degree do you say it's causing damage? That's a big chilek, but that's good. It's, it's, it's that's very good. It's always deemed to be causing damage. So I don't need to prove to you you're damaging me. I just need to prove you can see. But in love, Shmei has a case where it says... Quantify, please, says, for us what the damage is. Yeah. The, the, it's not deemed to be causing damage. And so therefore, you can't prove that a damage you've done. It's like, no, no, it's fine. It's not deemed. But if you prove you're causing damage, then, then there's a Shmei has it. That's very good. That's very good. Uh, Separate. That's very good. That's another level of the Kiddush. So you know what we have to do is we have to get into when the Gemara does relation to Basra. And Rashi and Texas comment on the view that Hezekish Mehezek, we'll see how that plays out and see if that, that comes out right. Okay, we're good to knock everybody. Hey.